Duracet come here and play with a sloth and play with an anaconda, they are fueling the wildlife trade in the Amazon. These fake zoos are setting up as rescue centres and you, the tourists come along, you pay a few bucks and you get to go and cuddle a sloth. Is that a sloth in it? No, this is the animal rescue centre. It's called Paradise of the Amazon River. This is visited for different tourist companies because this is not a zoo. Here yeah. you're going to have contact with some animals. Oh. With the sloths. This sloth is the Peruvian koala. Where, where do the sloths come from? Like they, this is from here. From here, from Peru. Oh, yeah. the, from the jungle. They, but they, they... these animals are risky for the black market. Belen uh, okay. is the capital of the black market, the famous anaconda. In this place there is a jaguar. With the jaguar they are not going to have contact because this is wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are in case you, you're going to take pictures. Legally, those places are allowed to breed animals and sell them. Now who's to say whether a jaguar they have has been bred or whether it's come straight from the wild. So it's, in some ways it's legitimised the illegal pet trade and tourists are supporting it. Tourists that come here and play with a sloth and play with an anaconda, they are fueling the wildlife trade in the Amazon. Now, where, where does this one come from? Is that like from the market? No, no, they, to, to, to get this too, too expensive because when they are babies, mm -hmm. you, you can to, to, to have in your house like a pet. Yeah. But keep growing, growing, growing more is more dangerous. Yes. We call in the Peruvian jungle Otorongo. 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 Many yep. that has good money right now in the black market. They come here to get one teeth, two teeth, because that's good money. You wow. understand? It's largely white tourists that come here that are funding these, they, they call them rescue centers. But what they're doing is they're going to places like the Bella Market, they're buying live animals, then putting them in what is effectively a zoo, and then tourists come and pay them a few bucks to cuddle a sloth or whatever. And it's it's really appalling. Like the locals aren't supporting these places. It's the foreigners that come here and support it. And they want to get a selfie with a snake. They want to cuddle a sloth and these things. And we would urge people not to support these places. We're the crazy ones who, who are fueling the industry. And, um, you know, sadly at the moment, it's, it's like sanctioned captivity of endangered animals.